In this video, we'll look at five recent extreme weather phenomena which caused loss of life and destruction of property and two possible causes for them. TLDR, it may relate to the warming planet. Welcome to the channel. The five unfortunate weather events are the massive rains in China and India, floods in Germany, forest fires in Siberian region of Russia and the extreme heat wave in North America. China's Zhengzhou city saw a year's worth of rain in just three days. At least 25 people were killed and another seven were missing as torrential rain lashed China's central province of Henan causing landslides and flooding that partially submerged the underground rail system of Zhengzhou, reports Al Jazeera. Several dams and reservoirs have breached warning levels, and soldiers have been mobilized to divert rivers which have burst their banks. Flights and trains in many parts of Henan have also been suspended, reports BBC. In India, more than 73 people have died in in the western state of Maharashtra since Thursday evening as rain, described as unprecedented by the state government, caused landslides and house collapses in the western and southern areas of the state. Over 7,000 were rescued in badly hit districts. Among the dead were eight admitted to a COVID hospital in Chiplan, Ratnagiri, who were killed when water entered the premises, reports Indian Express. In Germany, beginning on 13 July, intense storms dropped as much as 15 centimeters of rain in 24 hours, swelling streams that then washed away houses and cars and triggered massive landslides. At least 196 people had died as of 20 July, 165 in Germany and 31 in Belgium, and the number is expected to rise. On 18 July, German Chancellor Angela Merkel visited the stricken town of Adenau. The scene was terrifying, she said. The German language can barely describe the devastation. That same day more flash floods struck Bavaria, in southern Germany, reports ScienceMag.org. The Guardian reports that, extraordinary forest fires, which have already burned through 1.5 million hectares of land in northeast Siberia, have released choking smog across Russia's Yakutia region, where officials have described this summer's weather as the driest in the past 150 years. And that follows five years of hot summers, which have, according to villagers, turned the surrounding forests and fields into a tinderbox. Wikipedia article mentions an extreme heat wave affected much of Western North America from late June through mid-July 2021. Much of the Pacific Northwest, normally known for its temperate weather in June, received maximum temperatures 20 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit, 11 to 19 degrees Celsius, above normal during this heat wave. Preliminary statistics indicated 610 more sudden deaths than usual in British Columbia, and Alberta logged 66 excess deaths in the week of the heat wave. Deaths in the United States include at least 116 in Oregon, at least 112 in Washington and one death in Idaho. Financial Times, writing about possible causes, mentions the shifting behavior of the jet stream, which is a fast-flowing band of air that governs weather in the Northern Hemisphere. It is becoming slower and wavier, particularly in the summer months. This change causes high-pressure systems and low-pressure systems to grow in magnitude and stay in place. Heat waves and droughts, linked to high-pressure systems, and flooding, linked to low-pressure systems, both become more persistent. The Arctic, which is warming three times faster than the rest of the world, largely due to the loss of reflective snow and ice, is also mentioned as a big proximate cause for its effect on the jet stream. Finally, the FT article mentions global warming as having a direct impact on precipitation and rainfall, because warmer air can hold more water, about 7% more for each one sea of warming. 
This is part of the reason why the recent floods in India and China were so devastating, involving monsoonal cycles rather than jet stream behavior. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a like.